When the video is ready to export, I'll choose File, Share, Master File. I'm going to keep my settings, click Next, give it a name, and save. So here's the exported video. My final step is to open VR180 Creator, prepare for publishing, and I'll drag in my finished 360 video, which, if I turn off YouTube Mono Preview, looks like this. I'm going to make sure my settings are correct, top bottom, 360 field of view, and export. And Creator is going to crop my 360 video back down to 180, and also add the 180 metadata so YouTube will know how to display it. And after some processing time, here's the result. Now it's ready to upload to YouTube. Remember, it sometimes takes a few minutes to start displaying correctly on YouTube, so as always, check it in a headset before you make it public.